so many people would say like if you want to find people who are driven people who hustle without sleep people who know where their end goal is you'll find in Kaili is so full of vibrant young people who want to make it out um, in the world and it's just so inspiring waking up to that and just seeing people just thriving every day wanting to make it and and making their products work and working from scratch for what they believe in so it's that type of society of young people who are just driven and just want to be successful in everything they do Kailicha is a home of creatives. There's a lot of creatives that you would find in Kailicha. I must say Kailicha is also a, a, a business hub. Mm. You get a lot of businesses like uh, food vendors and yeah. uh, people that are into tourism, people who are in fashion, and there's a lot that you can find in Kailicha. So that's where you find all the creatives in Kailicha. them to alleviate crime. If you have gone around Kailicha, you'd see, even though we have said before that it's very vibrant, and people just wake up and they hustle, you can't forget those that cannot um, think for themselves, those that still need to be motivated, those that still need to um, become um, who they are, but they just need that, you know, that little push that will just set them um, in the right direction. We believe that um, as um, a platform, we have done that for many young people who just sit on the sidelines, who have no aspirations, um, who have um, nothing going on for themselves. <laughs> oh, Lerat Mashile. Actually, you're looking amazing. Who inspired the look? No one, actually. I literally just felt like, I think the statement piece was the hat. So then I had to work around the hat, yeah. Oh, wow. You're looking amazing, actually. Can you please tell us briefly, um, how was the show? The show is actually amazing. I mean, it's been it's, it's in its eighth year now, so it's been growing. And I think the beautiful thing about it is that the exposure that it's getting right now, it's literally in the heart of fashion. We've seen so many fashion shows being happening right here in Cape Town. So it's nice to also, you know, bring in a bit of home and just remind people to, you know what, there is a world outside of the CBD of Cape Town. Oh, wow. Well said, then. Can you please tell us about the show? Um, the show is amazing. I love the designers and I actually have a favorite, by the way. Aya designs were the best. I mean, absolutely amazing. Oh, wow. Who inspired the look, actually? Um, the look, okay. First and foremost, I designed the whole outfit. My aunt made the bees. Okay, God bless her, by the way. Um, I, um, the, the look is inspired by nothing, actually. I just took this and that and then, voila, got put my lento. So, Oh wow, Nivilik ladies and gentlemen, Kylie Chow Fashion Week all the way from Artscape Shop. So consistency, hard work, pushing yourself, having drive, also having passion for what you do, really is the one um, selling point of your brand. Nothing is easy in life. It took three years to even get a sponsor like MTN. Um, people come in to support you when they see that oh this thing can actually stand on its own they have a good team in place if i am partnering with them then i can also get something out of it so it has created a name that now that is undefiable we also get people who will come to us and say hey you're doing a great job can we please partner with you even though we might not have uh, money, but we might have resources. So now it has become a movement of not only for the people of Kaelicha, but you know, businesses as well who just want to use the platform. Mother City Fashion Experience, we have also partnered with 
uh, city of Cape Town. We thank uh, MTN South Africa for trusting the brand. Yeah. So it's been three years that we've been uh, they have been sponsoring uh, Kylie Cha Fashion uh, Week. So we really uh, we really thank them for 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 being part of, of this journey with us. MTN um, South Africa has been very consistent that we were even having a conversation that we need to now think bigger, we need to now think beyond because we want to keep the partnership with everyone who is now in the game with us. So that creative space definitely has no limits. Plans now, we need to expand in terms of our team, we need to expand our capacity um, that would happen only if we ha if we get the funding. Yeah. We really need to to put more um, in terms of resources that go t towards the the designers who are creating stuff for the show. Um, we need to to put more support um, to their side. We need to um, do showcases for the clothes that they were showcasing casing at the show. So there are really um, bigger plans in the pipeline just to make sure that it doesn't only end on the runway. So creating like, you know, pop-up showcases for the designs that were on the runway. We are hopeful. With more sponsors, uh, we can build our capacity and we can uh, be able to achieve everything that we, uh, we need to achieve in terms of giving support um, and being able to offer resources and, and doing everything that we set in our plans to do. So I cannot um, close the interview uh, without saying thanks to Artscape <laughs> for opening their doors to us. Um, so we, we thank them as one of our venue sponsor. We're looking at working with them in, in, in future and open doors for our creatives in, in, in Kailicha and even in the surroundings of, 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 of Kailicha. I'm really, really happy for the recognition from Spice TV. Um, we really don't take it lightly that a bigger platform like this, like covering the entire Africa,